Okay, so here we are, day three of our adventure of finding rock bars and metal bars, etc. in the EU. Okay, we're on our way today. We're in, well, we're, today we're at the Rakatan Inn. Uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we're about to head on up. Oh, we're on the outskirts of Edinburgh, by the way. Uh, and we're about to head on up towards Inverness. Today, we, the weather has definitely changed. We've had hot weather to start with on the first couple of days. Today, much chillier. We've got a jumper on. Uh, I can already feel the cold cut through that. And it's going to drop even further as we get further north. It's Loch Ness today on the way up uh, to Inverness. Uh, it should be quite fun. But maybe, maybe we'll see Nessie. Who knows? Um, and then we will... Um, there's a couple of bars, local bars. Now, as, as further north we get, we, we, they're less going to be rock bars. Maybe just bars that maybe play a bit of rock music or something like that. Live bands, stuff like that. But we'll find out. Uh, tomorrow we head up to John O'Groats and there is no bars there so I'm not sure what the video is going to be about on that one but uh, should be an interesting one to showcase for you. Hopefully the rain will hold off today, it won't be too bad but uh, much more in line with what I'm kind of expecting from Scottish weather. Uh, but yeah, we carted in, stayed there last night, not a bad place, uh, good bar, nice food, uh, rooms, a bit dated but functional, do the job, very soft beds. Yeah, not bad if you if you need to get into Edinburgh and it's about a 15 minute drive from here into Edinburgh town. Let's go on the road. This would have been an estuary of some sort. Uh, Stirling area, I think, just above uh, Edinburgh. So this is the bit coming out of Edinburgh now, heading up towards... Uh, uh, Stirling. We're going to go through Stirling and head up past Dundee, up through Perth area. Uh, towards Loch Ness should be quite cool. Uh, yeah, this, the weather seems to be holding off. It's a bit chilly, a bit windy. But uh, you, normally, if it was really bad wind, you'd get a little bit of buffering on, on the bridge. We're not getting any of that at the moment. Uh, we are, of course, it is a Monday, which means it is. We're still in rush hour right now. A bit of speed restrictions coming kind of along. Move over to the left, it's now a little bit clearer. Us down to 50. Like with all these areas, I have no idea where the cameras are. So, best to follow the rules and stick to your speed limits. There's, a, there's no mention of a toll on here, so I hope it's not a toll. Uh, yeah, heading north to northern Scotland now. It's a goat. No, it's a fucking goat. It's a fucking goat, isn't it? Okay, so first stop on our Monday journey up to towards Jolly Groats. We're staying in Inverness today, as I said this morning. But we are now here in 
got to the Highlands uh, in Scotland. It's windy, which you can probably hear on the camera. We have old Rough Rough Ven Barracks, I believe it's called. Um, but it looks very cool. But also, apart from that, we've got a countryside up here. Americans are the same. So if you're an American and you're watching this, could you? And you're from that area, Colorado, Rockies, that area. Is it kind of vibe the same way? I don't know. Anyway, let's go and have a look inside. So if you can actually have that. You're actually, even you, and you're like a midget, you, you've got a duck in there. Jeez. Oh! The usual fireplaces. Two barrel blocks. Two to a bed. I'm thinking. What point do you do one arm, one off, I guess? Someone's nested in there. Or has been. Yeah. Oh, that one's even. I think this one's nap shuttle. Oh, yeah, I didn't get through that. Not a chance in hell. Scotland, Loch Ness, famous Loch Ness world. Can we find the Loch Ness monster? Here somewhere, here somewhere. Ah! Okay, so we've just been to the Tooth and Claw in uh, Inverness. So first impressions are, that's all right. There's no music playing, which is not a good sign for a rock metal bar. There were a few, there was a few regulars, I guess, in there that were friends of the bar staff, maybe worked there. There were lights were really low, so we weren't even sure if there was a group when we went in there. Uh, very friendly, friendly bar staff was friendly enough. Uh, drink prices were fine. Nothing, nothing special. It looks like they probably do have occasionally have a band or music player, but the PA is so small it'll probably be more an acoustic act. So probably an alright place for you to get a drink, but at three o'clock on a Monday is probably not the right place. But the best only thing I could suggest is maybe tell the lights up a little bit more and have the jukebox playing. Uh, but yeah, that's alright. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so here we are at Gellians. Uh, it's kind of like an indie rock bar, I guess. Uh, so it does do live bands uh, all the week. So uh, probably more so for like a two piece, three piece bands, I would guess. But it's set up to play like a proper band. No one really does metal in the town. I've just worked at the bar staff, so it's really, you're not really going to find like a metal night out in here. Hit the record button.
Okay, so Johnny Foxes. Uh, couldn't do anything inside because there wasn't really anywhere to talk about it. It's a pub restaurant, effectively. Um, couldn't get any seating in there, but all the tables were reserved for food. Um, it is very much a special. It has some live music from time to time. Um, wasn't any live music playing when we were in there. It's not really a place if you're a rock or a metal fan that you're going to come to. But I suppose if you're more of a family thing and you want to listen to someone play while you eat, it's probably a good idea. Staff are very friendly, pricing was very reasonable. Uh, so as a place to come and grab some food, I think it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, price for so traditional fish and chips, so you get an idea of 15.50. So about, it's about what I'd expect. So there you go, Jolly Foxes. Live music, uh, it's more like a kind of a restaurant burger bar type thing. Good, good food range, well, well minimal food range. It's like good quality, it's fully reserved at the tables this evening. Uh, reasonable bar range. Uh, didn't really have much in the way of alcohol free beer, but it's really just Corona and uh, Guinness. I wasn't a big fan of, but I went for it. Apart from that, uh, live music in the evening is apparently very good, but again, it's Persuasion and roast and stuff like that, so not really a lot of that, but probably a good place to grab up and uh, get a sort of thing. I uh, wasn't planning to come here because it wasn't on my list of rock venues, but it was opposite a place that we were in previously, Highlanders. Uh, it doesn't really do rock music, it's more traditional Scottish music, so if you're into traditional Scottish music, it's probably a good one. Uh, all the tables here are reserved, so it's obviously quite a popular place if you want to come out for any of the traditional Scottish music, uh, for tourists, etc. Uh, food we just had, well, we ate, well, Anna ate a whale. Uh, I ate a load of sausage, sausage. Uh, I love sausage, can't get enough sausage meat. Um, what? <laughs> Don't look at me that way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, beer price seems good, service was very friendly, it's not the most kept up to good standards. The toilets are a bit shocking, stairs up to the toilets look a bit clean, it just looks like it needs a bit of TLC the whole place, but food is very good. I mean, when you go to the toilets, there's a washroom up there with like, washing machines going and stuff like that. It's, it's a bit random. It just feels like there's a little bit of TLC needed to kind of get the stands in place up and running. But uh, overall, though, kind of reminds me of like a Scottish social club type of vibe going on there. So, yeah, pretty cool. 